orange parking lot, Disney Springs. Hey guys, in the car, uh, my mom and I are going to Disney Springs for dinner and we are going to see an early admission to the spy who dumped me. And then we are going to get Sprinkles cupcakes because we have a coupon and we're gonna get those cupcakes. It's five o'clock, August 2nd. Hey guys, it is Friday the 3rd of August and my mom and I are going to run some errands and we're actually going to go out to her uh, neighborhood that she's moving in to see the progress on the house that she is building out there. So yes, the apartment she is living in is temporary and she is moving into a house but it's being built so I'm excited to see what the progress has been. Yeah, this is the pool area. So this is the kitchen where you can come in and take cooking lessons. Oh, there's a library right here. Hey, take a book. Mm-hmm. But it's super cute in here. This is my favorite part up there with all the pots and pans. It's called Emma's Culinary Garden. This is the poker room. This is where you can watch movies, in the pool. Oh, someone's in there. The virtual golf. This is just the movement studio. The other side of the pool. In the center. There's an indoor pool that you can play water volleyball. to the grocery store. I have a five day trip tomorrow and I need groceries for that trip. I have my coconut water. This stuff is so good, you guys. It's like the best thing ever. So uh, Trader Joe's coconut water with pineapple juice. Yeah, I'm going to go to the grocery store now and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Hey guys, so I am back from the grocery store and before I get into my grocery haul, I wanted to talk about two things that I bring with me on pretty much all of my layovers. The one thing isn't so much every layover, but the other one is a definite essential. The first one is my e-bags crew cooler and I bought this thing off of Amazon like 
four years ago, I think, and it's been a lifesaver for me. I've saved so much money. I mean, I still do eat out occasionally, and I do have a couple appetizers here and there, but for the most of the part, I do pack all of my food every single trip, and I do end up going through everything. So this grocery haul was about $35, and I will eat all this stuff for five days. So I am going to show you my crew cooler. You've probably seen this cooler, but I am not sponsored by any means of either of these products that I'm about to show you. I just want to show you guys, so this is a little bit of a more helpful tip video. This is my crew cooler. The only thing I would like to say is that Airport Tag did send me this. It says, I'm a flight attendant. What's your superpower? Little bag tag thing. And please make sure you are subscribed and following me on Instagram because I am doing a giveaway with Airport Tag. We are setting up the final um, stages of it and everything like that. So make sure you are subscribed and following me on Instagram for more details to come. This is the eBags Crew Cooler. And it's really nice because there's lots of pockets and compartments. And I love the inside because it's insulated. And you can unzip this part to clean it if there's spills or anything like that. So this is my Crew Lunchbox. The next product is a mini Hot Logic. You may have seen this in other flight attendant vloggers videos. I've had this for about two years and it's been a lifesaver because a lot of hotels have refrigerators but they don't have microwaves. So this thing is amazing because it's like the size of a mini iPad and it's seriously just a little hot plate that you can put plastic in here, you can put glass in here, you can put a uh, lean cuisine in here if you would want to, but all you have to do is plug it in and it warms up. It takes a little bit longer than like instant microwavable, but the thing is I like the way it tastes better than microwave. Now on to the grocery haul. This one is very simple this time because I am trying to be a little bit more healthy but not so like aggressive in meal prepping just because I don't have a lot of time because it is 7-Eleven and my trip does start tomorrow. It is not a morning, thank goodness, but I do want to take my morning just to relax and chill before I do go to work because I never get mornings before I go to work, as you guys know. So the first thing I got was some Swiss cheese to go with some honey ham and turkey breast. I'm gonna wrap it up and make it like a little turkey honey ham sandwich with Swiss cheese minus the bread. The next thing I got were some hot dogs because I'm trying to be keto again and you know, slowly progressing back into that for August. It's been very difficult for me, but I just like my carbs. I got three plums. Okay, I know this isn't keto, but I'm saying transitioning because I'm transitioning, so don't kill me. I got three different types of tunas. I got tuna salad ready to eat, the hickory smoked tuna, and the sweet and spicy tuna. I got some raspberries. I got a complete cookie and a one protein bar. And last but not least, I got uh, was going for the chicken chicken the chicken cordon bleu but I went with this one because there were only two left there's two in here so I'm gonna wrap them in um, tin foil and put them on my hot logic I also did get apple cider vinegar grape juice but that's not really showable I did hard boil some eggs earlier and I have some nuts to bring with me as well on this trip so I'm gonna put everything together and put it in my cooler and put that in the fridge so I don't have to worry about it and then I'm going to clean and wash my uniform because it's in dire need of cleaning and then I'm just gonna relax the rest of the evening so I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I want to start an entire new vlog for my five-day trip I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video Bye.